everybody welcome back to another guide um, thank you very much for the feedback and your input on the last one as well uh, plenty of comments uh, just mentioning a few things that I'm looking to improve in the future so yeah please carry on doing that I really do appreciate the feedback uh, however positive or negative as well um, so today's guide is going to be about the beginners crafting and gathering in Blade and Souls. It's a little bit different. So first things first, you're going to run into Jadestone Village around level 14 or 15. Upon entering this village, you're going to notice all the crafters and gatherers. Uh, an easy way to find these is obviously to bring up your map and you can select the two on the left hand side here. And that will just highlight them and then you can run your cursor over to figure out what each of the guilds do. So you've got crafting and gathering guilds. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly show you uh, the Green Thumbs Guild here. Now I am already a member so my menu is going to look slightly different to yours. But essentially what you do is you can load up this uh, select to join um, which will be a big button. Uh, and then obviously you'll get your guild tab in which you can look at all the stuff that you can make and also kind of what they go with and what they can do. Another way of pulling this up is by uh, pressing the L key as well. And uh, basically when you join the guild you are going to get a quick quest um, which will introduce you to your first piece of equipment. Now if you do tap L you'll be able to see all the guilds you have joined and all the available work orders to you. Now these guilds are quite interlinked so if you do choose one you're probably going to have to choose uh, the corresponding guilds. Um, however, um, obviously what happens here as well is you can only choose two gathering and two crafting guilds. Now if you look what I'm highlighting here, I'm basically highlighting the ingredients and how all the guilds interlink. So as you can see we need the sap from the tree fellows there uh, to make the to make the flask and the refiners and then obviously we need the refiners to make the viridian stones for the soul keeper etc etc i'm sure there's guys out there of where to get them uh last but not least i'm just going to briefly explain how the order system works so basically what you have to do is you have to discover the material before they will let you order it so they are little clues at the bottom of the materials so if you do click on them and look at the bottom it will tell you roughly where to find them and each time you do order so obviously you see me place an order there and uh, each time you do order you are going to get xp for that guild and obviously the xp will let you order from different and further away locations uh, last but not least if you click on the little icon in the bottom right it will show you your orders and also how long they're going to take and this is an interactive game you can order everything from this uh, this platform here secondly some other materials you are going to need are quartz and waters so these can be found in the actual game map however people are reporting a lot of bad things so these nodes take absolutely forever to respawn and they actually display on your map whether they are spawned or not I've seen people changing channels for hours trying to find one uh, as they are selling for an absolute small fortune so if you do manage to grab one and you uh, you don't want to use it to craft um, in the future or anything like that I would recommend selling them on my server at least they're going for about 20 silver a quartz at the moment um, other than that then uh, yeah so we're just going to uh, sort of run around and just going to show you the fact that they appear on the map but they are they are very much a not there last but not least is crafting worth it um, first of all the XP you get so every time you discover a new material uh, by finding it on the uh, L menu you'll be able to see the location at the bottom there every time you find a new one that is a large chunk of XP the first one will give you a thousand the next one down gives you 1500 XP so obviously doing that for the gra uh, crafting professions is a nice little XP boost Secondly, uh, the money. So it's quite a big money investment, especially if you're getting the goods delivered, as they do cost a premium to get delivered. Lastly, the time investment. So obviously it does take a little bit of time to sort of gather these materials. The higher level the materials, the more time it takes them to gather. So again, it's a, bit, it's a big time sink as well. But of course, you don't have to spend too much time gathering unless you are after those quartz and the waters. So I'd just like to say a big thank you to everyone for tuning in again. Please like, share and subscribe. And of course if you uh, do have any criticisms or any input, please put in the comments below. Share with me, make me improve.